G'day everybody, it's Matt here and today I've got a set of Nike's Air Force 107 sneakers in the black colorway to try on. Now I've got a size US Men's 12 because I was told that these tend to run small and to go up a size. So we'll see how that goes, that's a UK 11. And I was told I should try these because they're meant to be pretty comfortable and good for being in all day. So let's open this up, check them out and see if they actually are. So this is the Nike Air Force One in all black. These ones are made in India. They're a lace-up basketball inspired shoe. And we have these subtle all black Nike swoosh logos on both sides of the shoe. We also have on the back the Nike Air emblem on the heel there. And coming down, we have the Air wording around the side of the sole. We have this Air Force One AF1 tag on the laces there. And of course, on the outside down the bottom, we have the Nike logo there in the foot arch. So these have a full leather upper and that iconic Nike Air patterning in the toe box to serve for breathability. And of course, also a couple of holes on both sides of the foot there to also help with that breathability. So in addition to being a leather upper, we are a textile liner. The tongue is not fixed in place at all and it is quite a thin tongue but there is quite a bit of padding around the ankle here so that should be very comfortable moving down the insole is the Nike Air insole and it actually has two matching logos in these shoes so in the right shoe we have the Nike Air Force One logo there and over here in the left shoe we have this since 82 logo down there so that is the Nike air insole, which is meant to be pretty comfortable. Then of course, a foam midsole before coming to the rubber outsole. So this outsole is obviously basketball inspired. And so we have a couple of pivot points on both the ball of the foot and the heel, as well as a grip pattern that is intended to help with grip on the court. Now they are quite a flat bottom shoe. Again, basketball inspired, that is helpful for grip and, and pivots and all of that sort of thing. It is quite a nice looking shoe and being all black, this one, uh, it could certainly pass for a work shoe or anything like that as well and could be one with a lot of outfits. They do come in a lot of different color options as well though. From the top, they look quite narrow, uh, which I believe is part of why they recommend going up a size. So let's put these on and see how they actually feel because that's the most important thing at the end of the day, isn't it? So first impressions of them on is they definitely are narrow. However, lengths wise, there is quite literally a ton of room in that toe box area. Like that's the end of my big toe, just so you can kind of see that, that point. And so it's, it's easily over a good fingers width. So it definitely didn't need the extra length, but from a width perspective, I do think that was probably a good move going up a size. Uh, so definitely something to keep in mind if you have a broad foot, you probably are going to want to go up that bit bigger. Uh, in terms of comfort, they're a very rigid shoe. There really is not a lot of flex in them, which does come partly with that sole and that all weather construction. They're not super heavy, which is great. However, I'm not convinced about that Nike Air insole. It is okay, but it's not as anywhere near as cushiony as I had expected it to be. The longer I wear them, the more I feel like around this top here, as much as it is cushioned in around there, it is very firm around my ankle. Um, I find it actually digs in just up the top of the tongue there, uh, which is not great. I, I would expect though that being a leather upper, these would start to stretch out a bit with wear and adjust to your foot shape, and that should make them more comfortable. Uh, but right now for me, uh, definitely not the greatest from a comfort perspective. Uh, I do feel like the more I wear them as well, they are softening up and flexing a bit better, but definitely something that's gonna need some time, I think, for these to really get comfortable. They're the sort of shoe that I feel like you're probably gonna need to break them in a bit before you do too much standing or walking in them. There's actually a good amount of cushion in around the top of that toe box there. And that's something that you don't see a lot, but it does add a lot of comfort to your toes. Uh, when you're lifting the shoes around and that's probably a throwback to basketball inspiration where you do have a lot of impacts on those toe areas. Now they certainly are very grippy but at the same time I feel like they do pivot well around those pivot points and that does help given that they grip so well to also make it feel like you do still have a decent amount of freedom of movement. 
I personally thought that for me, I needed to stay true to size. I think that would probably be more comfortable, but it does raise concerns for me around the comfort level at the top of the boot here, whether we would be getting into territory where it's just too rigid and uncomfortable. But otherwise, I do quite like these shoes. I do feel like these shoes breathe remarkably well, uh, considering they are a leather boot. And around those toes, there is just a huge amount of air. I can actually feel with the, the breeze that's blowing through here, coming through the top of the shoe. So I'm very pleasantly surprised about that. I'm also finding that as I've got these on a bit longer, that my ankle here is actually rubbing a bit. I'm not sure if it's from the boot itself or from the tongue that's sitting just below the boot there, but there's definitely pressure pushing against my ankle. And so I feel like the way they sit for me is just a little bit high on my ankle there. I think it either needs to be a higher boot so that it comes over my ankle more, so my ankle sits under the cuff there, or it needs to be just a little bit lower for me. And again, that might come back to that sizing thing. I feel like I was given a bum steer being told to go up in size in these. So that is the Nike Air Force One in the all black colorway. Overall, I have to say they do feel like a very premium shoe. The laces even feel thick and soft. And they feel like they're quite premium compared to a lot of laces that just feel like they're cheap and nasty and thrown on at the last minute. So these are hugely different to that. The padding around the boot and this all leather upper also makes it look and feel like it's a really premium boot. Even down to this stitched Nike Air emblem on the ankle, it all just contributes to that overall feeling of a quality shoe. And the same can be said about this rubber outsole. It looks good. And generally speaking, it all feels really well made. My only complaints, I think, really come down to that sizing thing. Uh, I, In my opinion, unless you have a really wide foot, stay true to size. I, I don't think you need to go up a size in these. And I think that would have helped things for me with that little bit of discomfort that I was having, mainly around the tongue, which is quite rigid. Otherwise, though, I'm quite impressed. Now, in terms of wearing these as an all-day kind of walking or traveling shoe, definitely not. That is well and truly out of the question. These are not suitable for that whatsoever. The insole is okay, that Nike Air cushioning, but it is not brilliant. It really isn't. It is not the most comfortable at all. And the way these rub around here, again, it could be just be a sizing thing, but that's going to get old really fast walking around in these all day. Same with how rigid the shoe is overall. This solid flat outsole combined with that leather upper, it's just really stiff. Like even by hand here, I can barely get it to flex. So going back to my basketball days, I think this would be great as a basketball shoe, it certainly feels the part. And it feels like it's really locked onto the ground and it's actually gonna protect your foot quite well in basketball up to that ankle point. But that is not the same thing that you want for all day walking and traveling. It's too rigid, it's too uncomfortable and there's just not enough cushion in it. So probably a good pick for intermittent day-to-day -day wear, but certainly not for traveling in. So that's it for me for now. For more information on these and pricing, check out the links down in the description. And of course, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.